the cooling uh, has moved in. Quick look at our highs from yesterday from the official stations. See SeaTac, that 108 degree reading we hit a little after 6 o'clock last night. 110 degrees in Olympia, 99 in Bellingham. Uh, the National Weather Service office there at Sandpoint on Lake Washington, on Lake Washington at 107 degrees. And then again, that reading there at Quileut Airport in Forks at 110 degrees. Truly remarkable uh, weather in the last few days. And back to more normal weather today. That marine air moving in. We've got Everett, uh, clear skies at the moment, and much of Puget Sound has clear skies. We can see a couple little clouds beginning to show up, and we've got that marine decks made it in at least as far as Tacoma, which is never thought I'd be so happy to see the gray marine clouds move in, but they definitely have come in with those cooler temperatures. Looking out to Westport there, we even saw a little drizzle a little while ago out there, and it's interesting. You could see yesterday morning about, oh, 8, 9 o'clock, you could see that marine deck off the coast, and it certainly did move in. Temperatures mostly in the low to mid-60s around western Washington. Our forecast overall for today, we'll have a few morning clouds, but clear out to mostly sunny. Still a hot day, though. Highs today in the upper 80s and low 90s. Tomorrow, we'll look for morning clouds and then sunshine mid-80s and kind of stay in that pattern through the end of the work week. Over the holiday weekend, we'll warm up a few degrees. It looks like mid to upper 80s uh, with plenty of sunshine. And then as we head into next week, we'll probably cool back to the upper 70s and low 80s. But keep in mind, our normal high temperatures for this time of the year are 73 degrees, so still well above normal.